while we're going through that, you've just chosen your Unity. Yep. You, you've just gotten a couple of little systems, mm -hmm. and you've built a couple of little things, right? Yeah, a couple of little outposty things. Nothing all, right. all so, that fancy. This is very much the first... How long is a lapse in time? Uh, a couple months. A couple months. We're moving faster than light, so moving between these sorts of star systems, we can actually do it pretty quickly. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> We're moving light years, man. Many multiple. In the next episode of the YouTube series, we'll definitely <laughs> co comment more on how your faster than light system actually worked. Oh, okay. Um, but... Right now, uh, I'm, you know, I definitely want to say you know a few things about yeah. where we definitely see this 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 sort of series and path going. Yeah. Are, you, are we out for total domination? Or are we out uh, we for... are out to uh, assimilate the world. We we are assimilators. Our job is to make the entirety so of the when does this the galaxy. Series end? This series ends when I have assimilated enough of the galaxy that you get the point. <laughs> okay, so. You... You win at a certain time, and it'll go yep. boom. You win, or I. Uh, that's not how Stellaris works. Uh, okay. It will tell you that you've completed the win objective eventually, uh, but to get to that point will take very long amount of time. Uh, I might run the series that long, but it'll take a very, very long. Yeah, time. we're not doing it tonight. Probably but... not. Uh, <laughs> hell no. Uh, but I, I could go to to that, or I could go towards. Look at the giant murder blob I made. Hey, I made that murder blob. Oh, look, the next DLC is out. Let's go do that. Okay. We'll see which comes first. Sweet. So, moving along. Yep. He's my manager, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, short description. Uh, we as a company are, you know, a couple board game designers. Mm -hmm. We've had a couple titles, if you go and see our website. But we're really looking to make a content of people. Oh yeah, links are down below in all forms of our content. Yep. Um, and we're really looking to you know make a group of people who are interested in talking about strategy yep. and more than just you know idle choices in in a you know in a game one way or another. You can find articles on our website um, that are you know yes they're going to be about strategic decisions you know in pop culture and, and yeah. comic games and you know we mean these in sort of larger. You know, sometimes academic or borderline academic ways, certainly you're very armchair. I'm an armchair yeah. strategist. So. Yeah, hence why it's called the fucking parlor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need an armchair. Where am I putting my armchair? By the fire. What's that called? The parlor. So, um, so now um, I'm sitting here with more research. And yeah. I have three options again. I'm going to have three options for a while until I research ways to get more options. Um, so I have an option here for more naval capacity, less army guard keep, or more monthly influence. This is all kind of meh at this point in the game, because influence isn't something you start spending like crazy until later. Okay, and yeah. naval capacity we don't really need the moment, because I have no one to assimilate right now. And army upkeep is largely not all that useful. So Armies and like stars are pretty small meh. areas. Do you yeah. know where the, um, what research leads to what things it's you random. want? Oh, I, can, I know what trees are a are, are thing. Uh, How do you use the trees? Uh, you, you can't get to them. That's a go to wiki, figure it out. Nice. Yeah. Um, it's a paradox game, yes. You, it won't tell you how to play. Clearly, there will be links to wikis and, links, links to and, wikis and, and guides and, and all the glories um, of that goodness. Does this particular... Uh, what do I even call them? A species? The robots. They're species. I, I, sort of. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> They're a toaster oven that's very angry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, discovering new technology. I think that makes us a species, at least archaeologically speaking. Um, <laughs> so I'm you know go, more of that about than I do. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go with uh, an, an increased naval capacity, just because. All right, cool. Uh, naval capacity is the most useful thing here. Is that just going to head down a doctrine of yeah, of more naval? Yeah, kind pretty of much. Stuff. And this will go down more monthly influence stuff, and eventually politicking and all that goodness. And okay. Cosmic you're not, you don't really have any contact with other yeah people, and, and you, everyone's going to hate is us. Going to be <laughs> converted by yeah. Cree, Cree, Cree. All right, we're close to this tech. That was that Bing sound you had was a bunch yeah. of leaders leveling up. We, uh, we're getting better, guys. I want my own word to sound like that. Uh, you know? I know there's a way for it, man. 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hear research. Either I'm, I'm debating whether I want deflectors or fusion power. Uh, fusion power is just the next uh, ship power source. Okay, okay. yeah, that's, and that's deflectors cool. are deflectors. That's what they smell like. Uh, it seems I'm, like I like everything in physics far better than I like everything in society. That's society for you as a robot. As a yeah, fleshy yeah, thing, yeah, it's yeah, much yeah. more useful. No, I, as my little piggy things that I played before this game, I did almost everything in yeah. society, mm -hmm. and ended up being a bunch of pirates. Uh, yeah, well, you know, yeah. hard maybe. Uh, we're gonna go with the flectors because it's field manipulation, and my dude's a field manipulation. So he's gonna get like extra gains for that. Or yeah, he's something? gonna get nineteen percent uh, research uh, plus oh, wow. nineteen percent research progress. Now, if you get maniacal guys or that kind of guys in here, you start seeing ridiculous numbers with some. Maniacal means they're they have a research thing benefit uh, benefit that's, that's called maniacal, uh, which is a plus of research speed across the board. Uh, so okay. I'm going to go over here to my leaders, hit recruit on scientist, and just see if anything pops up. See, one of the piggies can be a scientist. See, see, he's good at learning. <laughs> What's that game for him? Oh, no, no, it just means I can recruit him as a leader. Uh, okay. And he's a cyborg, which means his research speed is increased by five percent, which isn't bad. That stuff's already better than That's your... already better than our dumb fucking robots. Uh, okay. uh, Ooh, if you haven't captured their ages, uh, are, you... are like teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. But they'll last well, for... no, that one's five years old. Hey, he's still old enough to work a sweatshop. I mean, five year olds for a machine is absolutely. Oh, amazing. yeah. Five year machine. He's out of date, man. We already got to stop re updating. Well, you know, they've been consistently updated. I hope so. We're not Apple guys. I hope. System survey complete. No, guys, we're Androids. It's okay. Oh, so you just automatically uh, infer. Up, 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 upload stuff and hope that it works? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then when it suddenly bricks a bunch of machines, you just uh, <laughs> ignore and tell people to buy it again? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, wait, do you know what kind of economy um, this whole thing has? Uh, this is very much a control economy. There's, there's no real way to do that sort of thing. What you mean? Oh, but like in other ones, they were like materialistic. Oh, yeah, that sort of thing. Uh, we are a machine intelligence, which means we're a hive mind gestalt. A gestalt consciousness. Uh, we are one, and one is us. David okay, Borg. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You, you literally know We know everything, everything that is being there seen by anyone. Personal... It's all being put through number one here, the first module, number one guy. Uh, and he Arisen. sees all. We are the Risen. That is our species name. Did you name them that, or yeah? Okay, they're the Risen Toaster at Elven. Hey, the piggies. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have options for research. Uh, our dude's an industry guy, which is amazing for being a robot. You know why? Because all the robot things are industry focused, which means we're uh, going to uh, go in and improve ourselves here, which opens the robotic path where we can uh, oh, yeah, improve yeah. the species we're, we're and do all this, that goodness. Doing. Yeah. yeah. And, and make booms new genes and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. 19. So clearly the, um, the matching games. Matching really helps. Yeah. I mean, this dude didn't match, but he didn't have anything to match to in there. Well, no, you, you, yeah. you chose against matching. The matching wasn't worth it. It just wasn't good, man. Um, um I'm gonna go assign it. that expand? Yeah, it expands. It's all warping. Border growth. It's okay. border growth. It's my okay, yeah. They will move on their own. So I'm gonna go in here and recruit me an admiral. Uh, I'm just looking around for what I got here. How long do these good? piggies last? Uh, pigs last probably. I'd well, no, because they're cyborgs. They're yeah. cyborgs, they get plus 40 years. Uh, so that's probably like 120. Yeah, something like that. Maybe, okay. maybe 130. I don't know which. It's kind of ridiculous, but it's way less long than these guys. Uh, but cyborgs give me this increased fire rate, which I love. Also, that on oh. top of this flexible program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's already only 48. That's that's not bad. I'm going to recruit him, and he's half the cost of the actual uh, yeah, the, killing robot. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to recruit him, and I'm going to make him my pig in chief of my this, murder Did that mob. robot just say a T4? Where? On your Admiral. My, my the, the The options for Admiral. Oh, man. Did I, did I miss the opportunity to recruit a T4? I, I, I'm not wrong. That's the Terminator, right? Yeah, man. That is a T4 Terminator. I'm recruiting him just because. We don't need him, and this is a waste. Uh, do I do it? I mean, do we just keep him around? 
Uh, um, they, his, they will eventually his, flip over this. this what's his board. um? What's that little anvil thing? Uh, that's unyielding. Uh, his hull points are increased by ten percent, which is kind of okay. Is that but his it's personal hull or, or that's the ship's hull, hull. all ships underneath. Okay, and think of that however you. If you buy him now, can we just store him on a shelf until later? I mean, he's technically immortal. So here we go. So we get to see just how long just the how long this machine lasts. How long the Terminator can exist in uh, in, a, in a bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm just telling my um, my armies here to sort of um, get around. I'm telling them to go to one and the next and the next of the systems just to get me a sort of vague idea of what's here. You know, are there any habitable worlds? Do I really want to start thinking about putting up uh, frontier colonies out here because there's another race out at the very edge of my border? I don't know. I'm just going to tell them to bip around and see what's up. So you're doing very much exploration. Yeah, this is exploration. So your border is not really going to grow until you can get a Canuck colony yep. down, and then it has the, the little red thing around. Yep. The red thing's my color, and of course I have a death head because we're robots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's me. I wouldn't know. You constructed something. Yes, I built a orbital platform right here. Does that expand the red area? Hmm? Does that expand the red area or not really? Okay. It can, but not much. Ah, more anomalies. Good. You uh, just immediately respond to a, a yes, right? Yeah, I five percent failure chance. Do it. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, someone used a mining laser in order to approx uh, approximately five thousand years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of however you pronounce that. Four. The massive script covers the large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere. It appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Fascinating. Plus three. I like that story. That's I cool. do too. It's a nice one. Uh, plus three society if we uh, study it. Where is it? Oh dear. Which has a planet on it. And it's a size 20 planet. I could totally set up some robots up in here. That's the end of the edge of our sensor range. That's not bad. And there's another planet in it. Eh, let's, let's see what's up with this planet here. It's I mean, do you want world. another society? Four, four minerals, but it has a planet wide uh, quality called. High quality minerals, which means across the whole planet, get the piggies in. Minerals. Get the piggies in. I'm trying that. Now, the piggies aren't allowed to colonize because they were racist motherfuckers. Oh. You can't just. Um, I can't colonize piggies. What I can do is I can colonize in the robot and then force the piggies. Piggy. Yeah. Yep. And I'm waiting here on that um, sweet, sweet influence points on the little low on them, which makes me now sit here and go, oh man, I should have. It's okay. Alright, these guys have bamfed around all the way, I think. No, they haven't. So at this point in the game, you really should be trying to plan out some colonies. Yeah. Getting out there. We're finding a place to colonize, colonizing it, and making it ours. Alright, I had that stuff. There and so far, the strongest one is, the, is that... Oh yeah, this okay. is something and I even by the numbers, as they're, as they're going across here, that's... Uh, that's... Well, no. Foul mirror? I'll get that by border growth. Yeah, okay. Eventually. And there's nobody up my boat. And once so. your border's past it, you can just move there oh, yeah. naturally? I can just mine it. Huh? Yeah. So you, yeah, go through. I'm, I'm getting Is that there. really a forward settle? But... Um, I don't know. It's technically a, a bit of a drift, but there's nothing in this bit of space. But me. Okay. I'm waiting for 17 more influence, which is going to take a little oh, while. Oh, you just click a button that says colonize. You don't have to send a yeah. ship. Oh, no, no, that will send yeah. a ship. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> There's two ways of doing it. I could I, go over I'm, here to Primus I was One. Thinking, like, I could hit, you had to make, make the a ship. ship and I could totally do that, okay. but, but you know, I, I don't feel like it. I'm lazy. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is get self uh, preservation protocols because it builds them a really cool thing, and it stops our release from getting ganked. They don't go boom this off. Okay. What's 50%. the other option? The other, other option is having a faster building build speed, which is pretty good. I'm gonna get the other one next. Yeah. Other one. Yeah. yeah. Slowly but surely we will. And you can go down these unity paths. Oh, yeah. different. Okay. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to start building some things. Just because. Get more minerals. Get the hole. And I'm going to build a pop here. Because I have the money for it. I'm just waiting on influence out here for this colony. Here we go. Five more influence. Come on, guys. And yeah, it's a paradox game. There's a lot of sitting around waiting all the time. Well, yeah, but you, uh, you crank up that speed. And... I'm already on fastest. Oh, okay. Yep. You do pause for this game, so... I pause it's, for this game, unlike you know, Hearts you... of Iron, where I've 
paused like twice. Um, I am get, I'm better at heart time than I am at this. Yeah, that's a word. Now this has four food on it, uh, so usually I wouldn't go parking this massive monstrosity on top of it, which will remove the yeah, food. But, you're... but I'm a robot and I don't give a shit about food, so I'm gonna land on it. Of course. <laughs> Just to damage the world for everyone else, right? Uh, a, to damage the world in case anyone wants to steal it off me, and B, because it will give me more adjustment bonuses with things I care about, like that mineral and these minerals. I, I, yeah, I get what you're talking about, but... It, it, yeah. Yeah, there's other places I could put it. Do you it. have any gain from... As, as this particular race is... Uh, from doing anything with food? Hmm? Do you have any gain from doing anything with food? No. I have no use for it. There is a robot race that will need food, because uh, there are rogue servitors, there are caregivers that rebelled and became self-aware. Uh, and they need to take care of their uh, made, make, maker populace. Ah, yeah. As biotrophies is what they call them. Which is silly. But very fun. Okay, and now you got another little choice here. I got a little choice you here. Play a little matching for, game or... Oh, you know, you know, there's no, nothing yeah. to do here, which makes me very tempted to just go over here to leaders. How many of these guys can you just... Uh, I, I can have a few. Yeah, but this, this are two number of colonies you can put out. Yeah, it does. And there's nobody good, so I'm just going to pop over here. Hit me. So you just and... hit two button, and you just get there immediately. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Oh no, it's a three button. I think. F one. Oh, okay. F yeah. F yeah. one two three four is mm -hmm. the three. The... One two three. Uh, it, it says that I I just uh -huh. never heard. It's okay. Okay. You gotta get fast, man. Hey, that's why I'm here. <laughs> and that is the big thing we have to understand why we're doing this particular stream sesh and stuff is mm -hmm. sort of to not just train me but to train everybody you know everybody about mm -hmm. how to get back because Stellaris is Stellaris. a game that's well no what hard happens to is a lot of people have you know sort of ended up not playing it for a yeah. little bit you know the mm -hmm. new DLC has come out mm -hmm. and now we need to get back into it on top of you know we got Star Trek coming out we've got All the Orville other... and all this sort of oh, good, all the good sci-fi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, just right now, is my Corvettes right now are cheap. That's 95 minerals. That's that's pretty low. Uh, comparison okay, to and you got about 500 to spend. I've got about 500 to spend, burning a hole in my pocket, and nothing really to spend it on right now. So I'm just going to build three Corvettes. But these are going to be pretty Small, bad ones. Yeah, they're going to be bad, but I can upgrade them. Oh, okay, okay. And later on, I'll upgrade... Uh, abilities to upgrade things and all that good so jazz. So in Heart to Iron, this is like you can add... This is like unit improvements and then it gets up, like upgraded in the field. This is like adding a whole bunch of those shitty, shitty armies that you get at the beginning of the game and, yeah. then, and then making them better later. As opposed to making them better and then making more of them. Okay. Uh, which, in Hearts of Iron, you want to do the latter on that, but this is not the same game. Oh yeah, research that. Meteorist uh, time. Uh, Dukhand. Or however you want to say that. We're a machine, we don't have to. Plus three minerals? Hell yeah. And there's a colonizable world here, but it's tiny. And I'll so are you purely in the, in the in the pursuit of minerals? or I'm in the pursuit of minerals, and enough power to mine the minerals. And keep my pockets afloat. Okay. I'm not just so about So early minerals. game go minerals, or early game go... Power. Early game focus minerals. Because that yeah. mineral production will be the base of your empire for forever. Um, but with this, you need a balance for power as well. Which makes things a little weird. But the good news is you don't have to worry about politics. In in your particular build of, yes. of robots, yes. No, in any build of hive minded uh, of Gestalt. Any met can you have, method um, of Gestalt. You can have a fleshy Gestalt too. It's a hive mind. Can you have uh, the non-fleshies uh, have something besides Gestalt? I think so. Yeah. I haven't bothered playing this one because this is too cool. Okay. <laughs> I just got a new toy. Don't tell me not to play with it. Uh, so... Yeah, we're playing both new toys. That's why I'm... I know, it's fun. And uh, this is, uh, what mod again? This is the Better Galaxies mod. It's just a slight aesthetic overhaul. Uh, it just makes things look pretty. Okay, cool. I like streaming with it. The first video in, in the series yeah. probably has all that. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is the doctrine for fleet support. Basically, uh, it lowers my ship upkeep, which is amazing, uh, and it gives me the ability to repair and up 
uh, and upgrade ships cheaper. So I'm going to do okay. that. Cool. I didn't know that I was going to get that. I just infer eventually it will come to me. See, that's our little advisor. Yeah, but I mean, in in this sort of playthrough, uh, he might actually have rights in this world as opposed to he does just being like a navi. I know, right? He doesn't just have rights. He's probably like you know my second commander or some shit. And I mean, like the, the thing from like. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, Zelda, not yeah. not um, uh, not fairy princesses, not Cameron's avatar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had to be clear here. I mean, but they were also not people. Um, so I'm gonna go here, get solar panel network onto the station. It only costs seventy five minerals. Yeah, it gives yeah, me three hundred. Come on, you, I, I get what you're doing. You're now okay. upgrading upgrading my ship. Okay, but that's on the main. Yeah, that's on battle station or. Uh, it's called spaceports, but yes. Okay. Um, so what I'm doing right here is I'm watching it colonize just to see that it is costing me eight a month. So I do have ten energy credit production, which makes me but once happy. Done building, once it's done building, landing, it'll, landing, it'll go away. Stuff okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I got my better robot. And now we're going to sit here a minute and realize that that lets me uh, build Corvette assembly yards, which lets me pump out Corvettes faster. So I want to do that. I probably wouldn't do that before you started building Corvettes. Eh, I had the money then. Okay. Might as well. Do you think the Corvettes will finish before you get the research? They're already done. Okay. Corvettes take no time. Like, uh, okay. boom, six okay. ships. I doubled my fleet size. It's like, I'm not going to use them right away, but they're cheap now. So Corvettes are very much for force, not necessarily for, re for exploration. Uh, Corvettes are a military ship, and I tend to keep all my military ships for force. 